He who knows neither himself nor his opponent will surely be in danger in every battle. Tang Tzu, the author of the world famous book, The Art of the War, uses these phrases in his book. Of course, this sentence is quite true. During a struggle, you need to master every weaknesses or strength of the other side. This is the number one key to strengthening. It is also very important to know your own strength and weaknesses. Only in this way, you will have a better chance of emerging victories from a battle. Hello, the Pioneer viewers. How are you doing? I hope you're hopefully and well. As the Pioneer team, we are back with our daily map report. In a moment, we will analyze the latest developments on the front line of the Russia-Ukraine war. The code was stated at the beginning of our report allows us to make the most accurate inference about the Russian army today. Because with this performance so far, the Russian army has shown us that it neither knows its enemy nor itself. The Russian army, which adds new rings to the chain of the mistakes every day, pays a very heavy price, even though it makes limited progress on the front line. So, what is the latest situation on the front line? Let's take a look at the developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring the Russia-Ukraine war to your screens. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports and the agenda. You can also support me and my team by using the super thanks button below the video. Let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. Let's start today's map report by examining the latest developments on the Kherson front line. First, let's see the Kherson front line on the map. It's possible to say that it was a quiet day on the Kherson front line again today. The positions taken by the Ukrainian Marines are still being defended. The Ukrainian Marines in the direction of Antonivka and Krynki are still holding their positions, although they are subjected to intense repelling attacks by units of the Russian armed forces. Despite all their efforts to advance, Russian troops have not yet achieved any results. Let's continue by mentioning the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted the Ukrainian positions in Antonivka, Pedrovsky, Sadov, and Miklaisky. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted positions of the Russian armed forces in Oleshki, Sahi, Podlizny, Pachinivka, Poima, and Pedistepny. Let's continue our report by analyzing the latest developments in the robotic sector of the Zaprizhia front line. For example, here too, we are faced with a situation similar to Saint Tzu's statements. The units of the Russian armed forces here again carried out their attacks on the Robotny with the same strategy. They did not make any changes. As you know, the Russian armed forces have been attacking Robotny for a long time. However, these attacks have not yielded any results so far. Nevertheless, the same strategy is still being tried. It is possible to draw the following conclusion. The Russian army does not know itself, does not know the Ukrainian army, and does not know how to learn from the experience. According to the latest reports, the Russian armed forces are attacking Robotny from the two fronts. However, the defense units of the Ukrainian armed forces stations in the Robotny first repelled these attacks with the artillery attacks. Then the Ukrainian infantry units that took action caused heavy losses to the Russian infantry units. On the other hand, as you know, in the past days, the Ukrainian army made a tactical withdrawal from the positions in Verbov, one of the deepest positions and established the defense line further back. The Russian army attacked again in the region and tried to eliminate the defense line of the Ukrainian army, but the Ukrainian army managed to repel these attacks and protect the defense lines. Let us continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Ukrainian positions in the direction of Mali, Shorbyanki, Pityakhatki, Novodanyilovka, Malotok Makta, and Orikhiv. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted positions of the Russian armed forces in the direction of Novoprokopivka, Kopani, Solodkabalka, and Inchenkov. Now let us continue our report by analyzing the latest developments in the Vuhelar sector of the Zaprizhia front line. We also stated in our previous report, the Vuhelar section of the Zaprizhia front line was a quiet area for a long time. The silence here was broken by the attacks of the Russian armed forces. As you know, the deepest position of the Ukrainian army here is Yorkhain. 
just like in Verbov, the Russian army is forcing Ukrainian troops to leave their positions. According to the latest reports, units of the Russian armed forces have launched a significant offensive both in the direction of Yorkhain and in the direction of Stromoyorsk after intense artillery shelling. The aim of these offensives was to reduce the bulge created by the Ukrainian army in this area. However, Ukrainian troops managed to repel the attacks of the Russian army. Let us continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted the Ukrainian armed forces deployed in Yorkhain, Stromayorsk, Makarivka, Rivnopol, and Novodarnyivka. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted positions of the Russian armed forces in Zavitny Bozhania, Priyotny, Istromelivka, Vulyotny, and Novodonetsk. Now let's continue by analyzing the latest developments on the Donetsk front line. According to the latest reports, on the Donetsk front line, the Russian armed forces are continuing their offensives against Novomikhailivka. Fighting is intense on the southern and southeastern outskirts of the village. However, there has been no significant border change yet. On the other hand, Russian troops appear to have made progress on the northwestern outskirts of Marinka. This is beyond the Osivko River. We can see it as uh, operationally important because Gorgorivka is uh, one of the bank of the river. As you know, Gorgorivka is one of the targets of the Russian army. On the other hand, Russian attacks in Novolsky and Pervovsky failed. There was a limited Russian advance in the Severnoi direction. The Russian armed forces also achieved tactical successes on the southwestern outskirts of Avdivka. Attacks from the northeast on the Cook factory and near Stepnoi were not successful. We can say that the attacks of the units of the Russian armed forces bypassing the village of Pridiachi forced the Ukrainian armed forces to abandon a number of positions. Let us also look at the Bakhmut front line. According to the latest reports on the Bakhmut front line, units of the Russian armed forces went on the offensives again. Reports indicate that the Russian army continues its attacks on the dominant and strategic hills, especially in the directions of Klishchivka. However, the attacks here have not yielded any results, and borderline is largely stable. We see that the Ukrainian armed forces have captured some of the positions they lost in Hormov direction. Now let me know what do you think. Do you think the Russian army is making tactical mistakes? What is the reason for the Russian army's inability to advance despite such a large force? Do you consider the defense strategy of the Ukrainian army successful? Let me know in the comments. You know that I read. And I care about all your comments.